when solving two equations with two variables, we usually use the substitution or the elimination method. In this lesson, I'd like to first take care of or use the substitution method to solve for the values of x and y. First example, we have 4x plus 2y equals 20, and we also have y equals x minus 2. So we'll go ahead and simply take that x minus 2, which equals y, and then substitute it into the first equation where the y is. So we end up getting 4x plus 2. So what I do is where we're substituting or replacing, I like to just put in a set of parentheses and write the equation. And then whatever that value or the variable was, since it equals x minus 2, that's what I'm going to put in the parentheses. So all I did was I took out the y and replaced it with x minus 2 since y equals x minus 2. Now that we have an equation with one variable, let's go ahead and do this. So we get 4x plus 2y minus 4 equals 20. 4x and 2x is 6x. And at the same time, we'll go ahead and add the 4 to the left and the right side, where we get 24. Therefore, x equals 4, since we divide by 6 on the left and the right side. Then to solve for the value of y, we'll take that 4, plug it into either here or here. It doesn't really matter. You want to plug it into whichever is easier for you. In this case, second equation is better. So we'll take the 4 plug it in for x, where we get y equals 4 minus 2, or 2. Therefore, our final answer for this problem is going to be 4 for the value of x, and then the 2 for the value of y. In our second example, because the first equation is x minus 2y equals 0, we need to take that negative 2y and bring it to the right side of the equal sign, or add 2y to the left and the right side of the equal sign so that we have x equals 2y. Now that we know what x equals, we could take that 2y, replace that x, or substitute for that x. So we'll take that 2y, plug it in right there, where we end up getting 2, again, open parentheses, and then we'll put in the 2y, which equals x, and then the rest of the equation. 2 times 2y is 4y, 4y minus y is 3y, therefore y equals 2. Next, to find the value of x, we'll take that 2, plug it in either here, here, or here. Looks like plugging in the 2 here would eliminate some work. So we end up getting x equals 2 times 2, or x equals so our final answer is going to be 4 for the value of x and the 2 for the value of y. In our third and final example, we have 3t minus r equals 9. And I think the best way to do this is to simply take that 2t minus 8, which equals r, and we'll go ahead and replace that r. However, what's important is that notice we have a negative right there. So when we take the 2t plus 8, which equals 8, substituting in for the value of r, we have to be careful. Meaning, we'll start by saying 3t minus, and then if we simply take that 2t plus 8 and replace the r, you might be tempted to write it like this. This will give you the wrong answer. What you have to do is you must put parentheses around 2t plus 8, and then apply or distribute the negative sign, which equals 9. So we'll go ahead and take that negative sign and distribute it into the parentheses. We'll make it negative 2t minus 8 equals 9. Notice, without parentheses, we would have stayed with that positive 8, which would have given us the wrong answer. Rather, it must be a negative 8 once we distribute that negative sign into the parentheses. Then we have t equals 17. And then to find the value of r, we'll just go ahead and take that 17, plug it in right there or here, doesn't really matter, what we get r equals 2 times 17 plus 8, where r equals 34 plus 8, 
or simply 42. So then our final answer for this particular question will be 42 for the value of R and then 17 for the value of T.